I don't know who's out there. Hello, how are you? It says two watching. You don't talk to me. I don't know who's there, but hello. I'm just doing a little bit of sewing. Hey, Sandra, how are you tonight? Too loud? Just working on my little pineapple blockies. I took some pain meds earlier and they don't seem to be working, so. So until I actually got tired, what do you think? Just fine on sound? Okay, good. Hmm. I can talk louder if it's hard to hear, but I was just kind of like, eh, probably somebody else out there who'd like a little company. Oh, the sound is great. Good. And as you can tell, all I'm doing is pineapples. Just put them together. It's mindless, doesn't require me to think a whole lot. Are you just awake or are you sewing tonight too? You enjoyed making the pineapple block. Did you make a whole quilt out of yours? <clears throat> or did you just make the blocks and then go on? I think my favorite part of this is the free motion piece or free motion quilting. When it's all done. I'm in the right spot. Just got off the phone call. Are you in the same time zone? It's like 1.30 in the morning here. Hey Mona, how are you tonight? The uh, chat from earlier had a whole group of people on it. That was really nice. I don't know if you got to go back and listen to any of it, but I thought it was fun. That one was nice. Stephanie and Courtney and Kathy and me all to just chit-chatting with everybody. Right now it's 1.30 where I'm at, 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, that's the whole reason I'm making pineapple blocks, Sandra, is because Kathy's making it. I need to do some farm girl vintage, but I'm only six blocks behind. I mean, that's not very much, right? I can get caught up in that in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> I don't want to work on those tonight, though, because I know if I do, I will mess something up. You live in Washington? Awesome. So you don't, are you kind of close to Kathy? She's in Redmond, which is near Seattle, right? <laughs> I 
I was telling Sandra before you signed on, Nana, I took pain meds before I went to bed, but they don't seem to be. Well, let me rephrase that. I didn't take pain meds. I took a muscle relaxer, but I don't seem to be able to go to sleep. So I laid there for an hour and a half. And I said, well, let me get up and do something that'll keep my hands busy for a bit. Maybe I'll be sleepy enough to go back to sleep in just a little while. I really enjoyed that live earlier, though, especially with Stephanie. A lot of information and a lot of experience with that. Not using the keyboard, so I'm moving the camera a little closer. You, you guys can see better what I'm doing. Hi, Courtney. I was just talking about the live from earlier. I was all snuggled up, warm in my bed. Didn't get to sleep. See if that's any better. Trying to make it a little easier to see what I'm doing. All right, I got that layer pinned in. Oh, it's because there's something on my table. Something kept poking me. I was like, what's poking me? <laughs> It's not tattle, so I'll make some music pens now. Yeah. Is it just now midnight there? Oh, do you enjoy hand sewing, Sandra? I machine bind everything, but I know some people really enjoy machine sewing or hand binding. Yeah, that was a really fun live tonight, Courtney, I thought. I thought everybody got plenty of time to talk and we got to learn. Are you making potholders to use, Sandra? Or are you making them for gifts for later in the year? Oh, okay. It's like 143 here. So it's almost two actually. Mm. I used to enjoy sewing by hand, cross stitching, and doing all that stuff. But since the arthritis really kicked in, it's not as much fun anymore. Even what I'm doing right now, sometimes, yeah, insomnia is not a good thing. Even like doing this, sometimes the having my neck bent over too far can make my neck hurt. Courtney sent me a picture of her uh, pineapple block that she worked on earlier. It's looking really good. There's mine so far. Trying to hold it there. I need to put the zoom up there so I can see it. And then the next one I'm doing is... Courtney, I don't have an official diagnosis of fibromyalgia only because my primary care doctor is like, why bother putting another thing on your fist? My uh, 
pre-existing conditions list. It's two pages long already. So he's like, just assume you have it, but it doesn't get treated any different than your arthritis and stuff. So what's the point, right? Oh, cool. How long has he been gone, Sandra? I know you've mentioned him before. Oh, hey, Shirley. How are you tonight? The name of the chat is definitely right. Insomnia chat, insomnia quilting. I think everybody's at the same same state right now. I'm waiting on. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, Sandra. I'm waiting on Shirley to make me a pineapple. Says so she's got a cheater's way to do it that would make it easier. So I need. Four and a half. Mm. I've just kind of got you guys parked over here where you can see what I'm doing. Did the chainsaws ever stop so you could record, Shirley? I can't wait. She's making a pineapple block video to help me do this easier because obviously I'm not great at this. Be glad when my new blades get here. What's this one's getting? Frustrating. You just used your 12 and a half inch ruler, Sandra? Wow. Two, three. Oh, that would that'll be nice, Shirley. I appreciate it. I know you didn't do it just for me, but I'm still happy that you're doing it. I'm always willing to learn something new. Courtney, are you going to post that in my Facebook group or, in, or do you have one? I thought I remembered that you said you do. Or are you going to post it in both places? That would be nice. So Sandra's hand sewing. Nana, are you working on anything or just trying to get things set up for the morning? And I think Courtney is still out in her she shed tonight. Her dogs were keeping her busy earlier. She 
it's practically created with Melissa Gordon. Shouldn't be too tough to find. If it doesn't automatically let you in, just um, ask to join and then I'll approve it. Facebook has been doing some funky things on uh, ads and joins here lately. I don't know whether it's good or bad. <laughs> You're an overachiever, huh, Sandra? Well, as long as you enjoy it, there's nothing wrong with it. Hey, Kim. Are you awake again or still up? I don't let dogs in the bed, but we also do indoor outdoor. So I don't want their fleas in my bed. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt, not going back. No problem. So Kim, did you have the bug or did you just have a bad cold? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much me. I couldn't get to sleep and I was like, eh, I'm gonna get up and do some sewing. And then once I started sewing, I was like, eh, let's zoom. Go ahead and sign on. And I'm putting it all in place because I really don't want to use the seam ripper at this time of night. That would probably be insult to injury and I'm done sewing. That pen is dead. It does not have a sharp point. It has to go away. can't sleep because of the being sick or just insomnia like me. That flu can kick your butt for a long time to come. I really can't wait for the rulers because this paper stuff is getting old. Oh, well, I'm glad, Sandra. Like I said, I was like, I'm up, I'm going to sew, let's go on Zoom. Yeah, find somebody to talk to. My poor husband is trying to sleep and uh, sure he doesn't want to get up in the middle of the night and talk to me. Yeah. And the flu will make everything else worse, right? I mean, I would think so. We get a drink. That's not looking too bad, I don't think. Trying not to slam it into the camera there. And I've got lots of the blue already cut that I want to do with that. And I think I'm going to be stuck with ombre shading my, um, my pink because I've got light pink and dark pink going into, you know, slightly dark, darker. Okay, so I need pink. I'm sure Shirley is over there going, ah, oh, 
could make this so much easier for you. And all I'm doing here is just trimming those quarter inches off, which looks like everybody has at least made a block. Thanks, I appreciate that. Um, all the colors except the orange came in the So Yeah Basics box I got for February or for March. And I'm gonna get April's and then I won't be getting that box anymore. Thank you. I like this orange. I'm a fan of obnoxious colors for the most part. <laughs> I like the vintage stuff too, but I kind of am going these days more towards doing brighter colors. I don't know what that was. Uh, brighter colors and traditional patterns. Where did you come from? And I guess that one will get trimmed after the next round. What are you laughing at me for? <laughs> the camera's there, the computer's over there. I've got the phone sitting here so I can read the chat like mess. I'm a mess. The next one I'm doing is four and a half pinks. Now, which one did you pick, Sandra, for the double wedding ring? The one Vicky is using is um, a trip from what she says of it. She's talking about it has her putting sew on, interfacing on it, and then turning each piece. You should have said, Melissa, about what? <laughs> the heating pads only work for two hours? Ugh. That stinks, Tim. I oiled the daylights out of my machine. Vicky's using the egg book one. I won't be using that pattern then. I got the rulers and I stuck the rulers into my Cricut or I scanned them in and traced them. I'm hoping that I'll be able to cut my arcs and stuff for my double wedding ring using the Cricut. The egg money is for machine applique, yeah. And I understand the concept of the double wedding ring. I mean, you cut out the six pieces and sew them together, cut your arch, go from there, but from the way Vicky's describing it, I'm like, ugh. And I'll do all the machine sewing, but like I said, I'm hoping I can get my Cricut to do a bunch of the cutting for me. Even the Martelli is hurting my hand today. 
Yes, I am using the Cricut to do the chicken salad quilt. The first block and the reason that me and Kat are at odds is because I want to do the first block like by hand so that anybody who doesn't have a Cricut can do it without needing to have an expensive machine. But um, then after that, I'm going to cut my pieces with my Cricut, yeah. What, that the Martelli's hurting my hand? No, it's not. Which is why I'm trying to teach myself how to do, how to put the rulers into the Cricut. Are you talking about double wedding rings? Is it as easy as it looks? I don't mind any of it except for the fact that you've got to sew six pieces together and then try to do that arc, cut that arc over those seams. Oh, that's awesome. I think everybody here is probably subscribed to everybody here. If there's somebody's channel that you want to link to, ask. And either I'll put it in well, I guess I'll put it in because I think Kim's on her phone. But I don't mind doing that at all. Your double wedding ring pattern is by Nicole's. Hmm. Awesome. I have to look. I my one of my friends is um the number one sewing pattern seller on eBay. She's made herself that in under three years, which is awesome. She sells a lot of vintage patterns. I saw those, Kim, those are expensive. Um, but on eBay, her name is Candy Geller, G-O-E-L-L-E-R. And she'll sometimes send me a PM if she gets something really unusual for a pattern in, something vintage and unusual. I like the bunny rabbit patterns and that kind of thing. I have a girlfriend who's in Iowa that really likes making the 70s tunics like the Brady's wore. <laughs> I have no clue why she's into that, but she is. So Sophia is the girl's name, not Candy, but Candy Geller is how she's listed on eBay. But Sandy buys whole lots of sewing patterns and then puts them out on eBay. And you'd be surprised how fast they sell. I've threatened to sell her my whole lot. <laughs> so I have patterns all the way back to the 80s for kids clothes and for adults. Um, I do have the applique pieces for the chickens. Um, and the way we did it was there's a uh, paper that comes with the chickens. We scanned them from the paper that came with the chickens. <clears throat> oh yeah, those tunics were horrible, weren't they? Uh, but we scanned the chickens into the Cricut software and I made them the size that they were supposed to be by laying the, sh the shapes out on my rule on my mat. And that's how I got mine big enough. Wayne came up with a way to do it where it brings it in from the traced outline. But you have to take it through Photoshop and then through Paint and back through something else to get it into Cricut. And I actually did a video on how I did mine. But, yeah, you've got to buy the so simple shapes to be able to do it. 
And I know that they're hard to get right now. They were um, out of stock. I got mine off of Etsy. Kim, you made the tunics. I was a young mom in the 80s. I made the denim dresses with those big collars. Do you remember those with the big white collars on them that everybody painted? It was the style at church. I have a couple of baby layout patterns. Those are cool. Yeah. Um, as far as, I mean, I don't know the ethics on, on giving you just a copy of the pattern or a copy of the shapes. So I'd probably have to say no until on that. You know what I mean? Are you going to tell me or are you just going to tease me with it, Kim? <laughs> I graduated high school in 1984. And I'm betting Courtney wasn't even born until after that. She's a spring chicken. Hey, Martha. Married in 78. Wow. I graduated high school in 84 and I had my first child in 86. I got married in 85, had my first kid in 86. More than nine months apart. We actually had some family sit and do the finger math. Born in 90. I have a son the same age as you. What day, Courtney? Hey, Martha. My son was born July 2nd, 1990. And just for grins and giggles, my um, sister, who was 16 at the time, had a baby July 3rd, 1991. <laughs> so, and she's eight years younger than me. I feel old every day. So you are less than a month younger than my son, <laughs> than my younger son. Yeah, let me feel old for a minute. I'm over it. <laughs> I had um, August of 1986 and July of 1990. So almost four years apart. I remember 1976. I remember the centennial and I remember seeing President, I think it was Jimmy Carter on TV. Some kind of parade. I don't even remember the ins and outs of that, but I remember he was on TV. And I thought, oh, isn't that cool? I can see the president on my TV. Never imagining there would be such things as Twitter and the internet. I think I'd only ever seen him like in the newspaper before. Wow. Oh. And what's really funny, my... Um, when I was born in 66, my mom, her mom, and her oldest brother's wife were all pregnant at the same time, apparently, which I didn't know until a few years ago. And I'm really, really, really glad that my grandma had her baby first and got the name she got for my aunt, because I guess they were all wanting the same little girl's name. Thank you. 
the alternative to being an oldie but goodie is not to be thought about. Where did you, where did they go? Where are you going on your birth, for your birthday cruise? Is, are cruises back? I mean, they're not like. Oh, I bet you're ready, Kim. I would be. Firstly, I'm ready for all this pandemic crud to be over. We bought a five acre farm so we would have room for grandkids to come hang out and play and be able to have all of our kids and the other nine million um, grandkids here. Pandemic's really putting a damper on it. Yeah, being by yourself stinks. Already, well, Wayne and I have already made a deal. Neither one of us is allowed to go anywhere. Hopefully nobody's cruising like going over to Europe. This would probably not be the time to go visit. I have some friends who, um, lo they love Paris. They had a trip planned. They decided they were going to hold up for a bit. They normally rent like an Airbnb over there. They decided that they want to hang out until things are a little calmer. You may also have a cruise in May that is out of Florida. We're going to go out of Cape Coral or Miami. Ah. Well, poopy doopy. <laughs> That's not good. Y'all know what I did, right? You want to laugh at me? I've taken cruises out of Miami, out of West Palm, and out of uh, the Cape. But most of, only one of mine was more than a day like dinner cruise kind of thing. Yeah, I did some nice air sewing there, Sandra. It looks really, really good on the paper. <laughs> Didn't do much for my pineapple block, really. I just sing the Seam Ripper song earlier, both on the earlier live and tonight. We were kind of talking about that earlier, Martha. I don't know if you saw the earlier live, but I think there's a lot of us that are disabled in the YouTube quilting community. My friend's daughter actually had a house at uh, the seven mile marker in Key West. They were their coasties with the Coast Guard. They loved it down there. But he got transferred to South Carolina, I think is where he went. So they sold their house. 
sold it for twice what they bought it for, which is always a nice move. Well, the one benefit to doing the air sewing thing is that I get to uh, reset my triangles and, and make them look a little better. So that's a plus. Yeah, that one got a little bit. About the time I'll get I get the hang of these and doing them with this paper, I'll be done with them. Because I think I'm gonna make a total of eight locks and then decide. I didn't really love cruising. I have the lovely affliction of uh, seasickness. Ah, doesn't work when it's uh, attached to paper. Thought I'd do a Jenny rip like Jenny Doan. Take that off of there. My little scissors work well as seam rippers for this. One of y'all out there is probably going, ah! Oh, that's nice, Martha. That's why I like them too, because it feels, well, it's way more interactive. There's still some things that I need to do as video videos. But I like this because you get to hear what people are, are wanting to know about what you're doing. And like, you know, the other day when I did the one that my machine was so, <laughs> where my machine was so loud. Are you just going to do one a week, Courtney? Or are you going to do um, more than one? I mean, mine are scheduled for Thursday and Friday at noon. I kind of like doing the early morning coffee chats. You know, like sitting down and having a cup of coffee and just chit-chatting. But some people, like in Pacific time, were upset because they couldn't catch the lives. Hey, Teresa Louise, what are you doing still up? I guess it's not as late for you as it is for me. It's only like 11 o'clock there. I did not so. I do not like that. I guess I got rid of all my little pieces that were over here. Let's try this. Martha Teresa Louise, um, I think wrote us down the schedule earlier, but I don't know how many of us she's got on there. Yeah, nobody can sleep tonight. Everybody's hurting. Mm. Are you at least laying down, Teresa, so you can decompress your back? Guys, I'm trying to be a little quieter tonight, not only because my husband's sleeping, but because I don't feel like anybody wants to hear me all loud and jarry this time of night. Well, let's try something else here. All right, yeah. 
Oh. Why are you giving me this machine? For I was afraid I was going to end up at tonight, Teresa was with the heating pad. My neck's still saying I might. That might help some. Some of the fuzzy out of there. Oh, okay. I'll go look in a little bit, Sandra. can't look right now only because I'm using the phone to be able to read the chat. Otherwise, I'd be peering over there at the computer and you'd know, be like, what is she looking at? It is a Juki Bobbin. But Martha, I do know some of the lives by heart, but not all of them. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> and the last time I asked somebody about it, they were like, ah, just go live whenever you want to. And I was like, okay, that's what I'll do. All right, let's two stick. You did okay. Hopefully, the seam is going to sew because if it doesn't, I'm going to throw the seam away. <laughs> the block, not the machine. Origami. So you use paper to make earrings, Courtney? I like doing a whole lot of different things, but my hands have decided in recent years that some things aren't really in my repertoire anymore. Just heard something go ping. I'm not sure what that was. I have to look and see if I actually got a scene there. You'll find me a pair of pliers tomorrow and pull whatever that is sharp right there out. I think it's a staple. See where I adjusted my little corner? Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are Kathy at 10 a.m. Pacific, right? Mm. Event a drink. I'll have to go back and watch my own chat to get these.
Martha, um, I'm officially doing noon on Thursday and Friday right now. And then whenever I want otherwise. <laughs> I'm hoping to start doing like the 9 a.m. or something Eastern. Again, some of the West Coast folks were not happy about that because they couldn't be at the live. It kind of depends on what kind of response. Oh, thank you. All I'm doing right now is just I'm sewing as close to the edge as I can get on this block so that it doesn't fray on me. I put it in my little project bag that I blatantly copied from Teresa Louie. <laughs> As long as I give her credit, it should be too. Uh... Too much of a copyright issue, right? And that's um, orange and pink. And then I've got this one to finish. And this one to finish. But I always second guess myself until I get like past this round. Because I'm looking at it going, the colors don't look right. They don't look right. Once I get past this round, the pattern starts showing for me. So, and then I did it right there. I just was like confuzzled. So it's coming along. And then I have this box that I'm hiding all my scraps in on this because I don't want to shove the fabric down in the project bag and have it get dropped every time I open the project bag. And then here is the purples. There's that one. And that one I put pink around the edge thinking that I wanted the sashing look, but I don't think I do. So that's why I just sewed down the edge of that last one. And this is my project bag that I imitated Teresa I made. I got me a little pocket in the front that I can slide my papers in. And any unfinished blocks, which is the way I've been doing it. So the unfinished ones go in the front. Then I'm putting the finished ones down inside. Thank you, Marie. I appreciate it. I had a Lori Holt block that was left over from uh, something else I made. So I put it in here and said, all right, let's do that. Making sure my rotary cutter is closed. Oh. Oh, let me see if I can do that while we're here. Hello. Put my face up here. And let's see, I'm gonna go to Facebook. Ask my computer to do something else here. One thing I am happy that I did is I bought a wireless mouse and keyboard. So I can now um, move the keyboard around instead of having to I don't know who this person is. <laughs> I 
that was unfriended by somebody on Facebook. It's okay. It's the guy who gave us a uh, estimate like four years ago to build porch steps. We didn't let him do them. Because the guy, when he came out, he was inebriated. Ooh, Sandra. I have to say you're a better woman than I am, Sandra. Okay. Facebook gave me the option to auto approve people if they have more than one friend in the group. How's that? Thank you, Martha. I appreciate that. Is the pink and blue one wrong? Are you talking about this one? Shirley, is that the one you're asking me about? Or this one? Yeah, that's a that's a pretty intense pattern there, Sandra. I'm looking at it going, holy cannoli. Um, I don't think it's wrong. Okay. I don't think it's wrong, but the tutorial that I followed, that generations quilt thing, said you could either start with the background color or with the focus color. Yeah, and Sunday for Teresa Louise. Tucker's been doing Mondays at eight or is it eight or seven? It's eight PM Eastern, so it would be five PM for Teresa, I think. This is the blue one. And this is the other blue one. I think this one looks funky because it's not ironed down. Trying to bring the zoom up here. Because the zoom sometimes gives me a better picture. You couldn't see the block. <coughs> That's the second blue one. And this is the first blue one. No, it's right, Shirley. Oh. I'm going to go hide in a corner now. She's right. It is wrong. No, maybe not. Blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink. No, it's right. It's right. It's just the little corners are really small in this one. Because it's got blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink. It's just it hasn't been trimmed yet. That's why it looks bad. Yeah, there's an, the next row is blue. But the next row would be. It goes here. And this is why this particular block is confusing. I'm trying to show that. Yeah. The reason this one is so confusing is because it looks like this 
until you get out to here and then the pattern finally starts showing up. Because I don't, I don't know if you can see them both. But see how it does this? It looks wrong until you get almost completely done. And the, part of the problem with this one is that I haven't trimmed the quarter inch yet. I won't beat it up tonight, <laughs> <laughs> but I will look at it again tomorrow after I actually get some sleep and um, see if it comes out right. If it doesn't, you'll never see it again. I'll just hide it somewhere. <laughs> we'll never talk about it. But I think it's, I think it's right. I just have to work on it some more to get that way. So that's why these blocks have been so confusing to me because I don't see the pattern. Who's Margaret? Okay. <laughs> yeah, 2.30 in the morning, I'm not, I'm not a, Deciding that blocks are completely wrong. I know I keep looking at that one and I keep thinking that looks really weird, but I think the next round will make it. That's why I keep the partially done ones out is to remind me of that. It's an I state, Martha. It's either Iowa or Idaho. I always want to put her in the wrong state. And I have a friend who lives in the other one. If Teresa lives in Idaho, then um, my friend Kelly lives in Iowa. And if Teresa lives in Iowa, then Kelly lives in Idaho. I think that that may be the, the reason it looks so bad right now, um, Shirley, is because I haven't trimmed it. But yeah, but um, I don't know. I also think that this paper may be smaller, although it looks like it's the same size. But it is, it, optically, it looks wrong to me too. That's why it got put away and I did the orange one instead of the blue one tonight. Sorry, let me turn this down a little bit. That's why I did the orange one tonight instead of the blue one, because the orange one um, seems to be working correctly. I still want to know how Sandra did a pineapple block with nothing but a 12 inch ruler. <laughs> and I want that slow boat from China to hurry up and bring me my ruler. Yeah, probably this is because it's not trimmed. <laughs> Let's see if that helps. I do not know why it is so hot in my house right now. Because I was freezing earlier. I think it may be the pain meds making me hot. Muscle relaxer, it's not a pain med. My friend lives in Jerome, Idaho, and I, you live in Elk City. <laughs> Did you go look on my Facebook to see where she lives? That's funny. She's the sweetest person ever. They're LDS too. And what's really wild is um, when they decided to move, they were living in upstate New York. And her husband was diagnosed with cancer after they both accepted new jobs, sold their house and went to buy another. And so they moved from New York to Jerome, which is Idaho. So it is the same state as Teresa. <laughs> um, and they got up there and the LDS community just literally took them in and, and wow, I was just amazed. 
that any better with it trimmed? Still, this isn't wide enough, I don't think. This is the one and a quarter inch that the pattern calls for. <coughs> but I've been cutting everything else at one and a half because this always ends up short. So that may be better, a little better now that I trimmed this. And it'll be even better once I iron it. Oh, that's right. Okay. At, I apologize for not remembering Teresa. At this time of the night, you could call me anything and I'd answer to it. Seriously. It's to that point. It is all about that quarter inch. Who is Margaret? No, what is it wrong? Sorry, nope, Sandra. What? All blue is better. Yeah, she sent me a picture of her pineapple block with that Tula fabric. It's gorgeous. Go, just go, just. Knock the phone down. That's not good. Let's see. Is that the next round is four. So I need my cheaty sheet. Oh, Margaret Lewin's quilting. Yeah, she is a she is a fantastic quilter. For that matter, Eleanor Burns is a fantastic quilter. I just don't learn well from her. Oh, yeah, it is. Trying to get the strips I cut of that blue. Yeah, I think it's right. What do you think, Shirley? Oh, yeah. So once I put the next piece on, that should be right. And then, of course, then the next pink. It's just those skinny pieces make it tough. And the reason I'm hiding these little squares is because they're my corners for my two blue pieces. Yeah, Margaret Lewin's good. Kim, I used to watch her years and years ago. And I've watched quite a few of her videos, even recently, the replays from PBS. 
But for some reason, when I watched the video for the um, corners on the triple Irish chain, I couldn't get past the. It, it was the way things were done back in the 70s and the 80s, the way the ladies were interacting with each other. But I couldn't get past it. I, I could not learn from it. So I had to hop back and find a different alternative. Which other black do you want to see? The other blue? This one? Stephanie was awesome to have on there. I think that would be great. Ugh. You're awake for the day. All right. Shirley, are you wanting to see the ones that the ones that are finished? Or I'm not sure what you're wanting me to show. I know I messed something up, Sandra. I just don't know what I messed up. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So there's one that I'm working on. This is, and then this is the one I just finished. Oh, thank you, Courtney. I just finished sewing the orange one. I think this blue one's right. I'm not so sure about the pink one. And Shirley thinks that my pink one's wrong too. I hope she does too, Marie. She would be, imagine the amount of knowledge she has. I think my triangle in the pink and blue should be bigger also. <laughs> but I told you this took me a while to get to start with, and it doesn't look right to me until I get way out here. But that could be, there's a little bitty triangle there. This one is wrong, Kim. On this one, probably. Because see, once I put the corners on here, let's see. Where am I going here? Okay. So when that goes on there, that's the line, that's the corner. I thought so, Marie, it was pretty interesting. And I was trying not to focus on one, but she, she was really interesting to talk to. I mean, she's got a lot of experience. The military and the prosthetics and yeah. I think this block may have to get just trashed and started over, but I'm not gonna do it to it tonight because None of it makes sense to me right now, which tells me that um, I need to come back to it and look at it. Yeah, but it's, it is a very weird, 
may be the pattern. It may be the uh, operator, <laughs> the person between the sewing machine and the chair. But they don't make sense to me until you get out to this level. Yeah, I'll have to look at it and try to figure out what I did wrong and then fix it. And if I can't fix it, then I need to find a another thing. Exactly, Courtney. That That is the way you have to do it. You just got to be yourself and, and just, yeah. That's all you can do. You can't be anybody else. They're already taken. Well, that's what my granny used to say. <laughs> so I'm putting all my little goodies over there. I'm going to turn that off. So I think that one block was probably enough for my neck to go. Yeah, we don't like this. Not tonight. It might be a do-over. A doover? Is that what you call them? I call them do-overs. Might have to be a do-over. Um, what bruise are you looking at, Kim? Are you talking about this? Awesome. That's good, Courtney. Um, yeah, that's not a bruise. It's birthmark. I actually have it all the way up to here. I don't know if you can see it all, but that is birthmark. It goes with this. Um, when I'm tired or when I'm hurting, both they're always pink. They're always kind of a mediumish pink. But um, all of this shows up more um, whenever I'm tired or when I'm hurting. Hi, Anita. That's a lot of flags. Uh, anyway, it's not. It's not a bruise. A funny story about it, though, is when I was um, 19 and pregnant with my oldest son, my then husband was in the Air Force. And um, I went in for a doctor's appointment one day and he saw my face. And of course, they give you this gown that's a piece of paper and covers about, you know, this much of your body. Oh, no, I'm not hurt. And um he actually went back out of the room and sent the MPs to arrest my husband for beating me without even asking me what was going on with my face or my arm. So I was like, okay. Yeah, no, I'm not hurt. I'm hurting, but I'm not hurt. That's the Australian flag. I didn't recognize it. Ah, are you in the US or are you in Australia? I don't mind anybody asking um, about that. I actually got pretty lucky with mine. But what I'll probably do is um, one day when things are chill, I will sit down and do a whole little explanation video on it. Just so that it's all explained. That's also why when I look straight at the camera, my left eye is like lazy. Awesome. So you're just getting up for your day, right? Or is it like mid-morning there in Australia? I almost didn't start a YouTube channel because of it. I seriously thought that no, nobody's going to want to watch me. But I figured, what the heck? Only one way to find out, right? Lunchtime? Not bad. It is um, 3 a.m. here. And I think I've sewn what I can sew here. 
because I don't want to mess with that other um, block tonight. I'll have to pull it apart or look at it in the morning and see if I need to take it apart or if I just need to do for it, as Marie said. Most people don't, uh, surely. Um, the lighting makes a difference. I wear my hair over my face, which I've always done since I was a little kid. And I don't say lots about it. Today seemed like the appropriate time because we were talking about disabilities. Oh, thank you, Martha. Yeah, it definitely an insomniac. Right, right. Um, I actually asked Courtney about um, something she has. And then I thought, well, you know, maybe I need to point this out. So she knows I'm not just asking to be mean. <laughs> I wasn't. I definitely wasn't. Well, I'm on, I'm looking for my phone. It's right in front of me. I'm reading chat on my phone, guys. And I went looking for my phone because I was going to look and see how far Hutchinson, Kansas is from uh, Great Ben. Oh, thank you, Anita. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right. I think that the reason I'm hot is because the... Muscle relaxer is kicking in. I have family all over Kansas too, Kim. My, my sisters in Great Bend are Larned, and I know where Hutchinson is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no problem, Courtney. No, not my place to explain anything for you. I just didn't want anybody to think I was trying to be rude when I asked questions. I just come out and ask because I've learned over the years I'd rather someone ask me. You know, rather than, oh, pss, 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 pss. I'm not that person. I'm just going to ask. So um, Stephanie earlier, when she got out of the car, I noticed she was limping. That's why I asked if she was using a cane or a walker. And I would rather just flat out ask the question than have, you know, then later on go, hey, Teresa, do you know? Or, you know, I don't want to be that person. Massachusetts. So she puts no R's in it. No, she does pizza and Bia, right? Is that what Massachusetts does? They move their R's around. My uh, first husband had a coworker. That's what he always said, pizza and Bia. And I was like, why are you dragging the R from one word to the other? Oops. Hitting the enter button. Lori, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, no, Shirley, I'm not stressed. I'm just, I'm like, hmm, three o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to even attempt to figure out if it's right, wrong, or indifferent. I will look at it tomorrow, though. Um, I put it on top, so it'll be the first thing I see when I start messing with the pineapple blocks. And I did pineapples. Well, yeah, Courtney, and, and that's the way it should be. When I grew up, you were like supposed to try to hide all the stuff, or that was what my mother tried to convince me of. And um, I always thought that was dumb. So I always have embraced the policy of just ask. So. Aww. I appreciate that, Kim. I do try to make it it's some fun. Like I said, it's middle of the night, so I don't want to be loud and boisterous and crazy. <clears throat> but I do want it to be interesting to watch. But I am getting ready to say good night to all of you guys. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go take actual pain meds instead of the muscle relaxer because my wrist is just like, not happy now. I worked it too hard tonight. I will probably see you guys sometime tomorrow. Kathy wants to do a Zoom probably around 2 Eastern. I don't know what that would be for you guys, but 
if you want to check us out, we may do one. Don't know if it'll be on my channel or Kathy's. Um, and then I know Teresa Louise goes live tomorrow at two o'clock Pacific, and I will definitely be there. Oh, awesome, Anita. I think that's great. <clears throat> yeah, it's one of those things where you just don't think about it unless I don't even think about it unless I see it in the mirror or somebody asks me about it. That's how much attention I pay. All right, guys, you all have a good night, and I'm sure I will see you all somewhere somehow tomorrow <laughs> night. Thank you.